You know how people say, I see dead people. Well, as a kid, I used to be able to say, I see spirits. Story time! I know you clicked on this because you're probably trying to figure out what the heck I am talking about. Like, how do you see spirits when you're a kid? This girl is totally lying. She is clickbait. Let me tell you, I am not clickbait. Like, this junk used to freak me out when I was a kid. And you know, I had a hard time sleeping at night because of it. I was the kid that put the cover on top of her head and was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, that was me. So, there is this saying, well, I hear it from several different people that, you know, kids and babies, they could see, well, they could feel spirits off of people. Like, you know, if somebody has a good vibe or a bad vibe, they could get that feeling off of people or they could actually like you know see and feel spirits i don't know why that is the way it is but it is and i actually kind of well i want to witness it myself because it happened to me but also seeing it in a child like they'll just be standing there like what's going on and yeah 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 it's really crazy but my first encounter with a um, I was a baby, well, a toddler, and my mom actually told me this story. She was saying at their old house, it was, they believed, built on an Indian barrel ground. And the reason why they said that was because they used to hear drums. Like, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's scary. They used to hear drums, and my mom said, like, whenever we heard the drum sound, I would just sit there and stare at the window. Like, just stare out the window. And she said, that's when they realized they need to move, because their house was built on the burial ground. When my mom told me that story the first time, I'm talking about somebody was like, I was just staring out the window like, what, what, what the world's wrong with me? But she was like, babies can, you know, feel spirits, they can see spirits, they can tell if somebody's vibe is good or not. So, yeah, I had a spiritual encounter. Now, when I was growing up, I don't know if it was because I was half asleep or I don't know. I used to wake up and literally I would just stare. I don't know why I would do, but I would just stare off into space. And as I'm staring, well not really off into space, but I would just stare in like a random area like, for instance, my door. My door used to be open when I sleep. So I would just stare at my door and all of a sudden it's like this figure just pop up. You guys, I don't know why I'm talking about this because oh my gosh I hate oh my gosh I've never talked about this like this junk is just scary like why am I talking about this why am I talking about this this, this junk is not fun this junk is scary <laughs> I woke up I just stared at like my door and all of a sudden I just saw this like this this figure it wasn't white it wasn't blue but it was like i don't know it was different i don't know who it was or what it was but you know i just saw it and i just stared at it for a while and then i just closed my eyes real quick because i don't know why i stared at it you guys like I, I i i don't know it was weird it's not it's like my mind was like oh you're in my room but once I came to, I was like, oh my God, you're in my room. I went to the bathroom. I don't know why I ended up going out to go to the bathroom. Came back, lay back down, put the covers over my head because that junk was crazy. And like, I used to see this junk, like, it wasn't night after night, but it was different nights and stuff. So, like, I think I told my mom and she was like, you just need to pray. We need to pray. You need to pray. Like, you're going to be okay. It's going to be cool. This, that, and other. So, you know, I did that. I prayed and everything. And like, after that I just stopped saying it I think it's because the reason why I was seeing this stuff is because it was like so much negative energy and stuff like that so it was like you know playing mind games or whatever and just appearing and being like hey I'm in your presence <laughs> and I was like uh, bro but that junk let me say this junk is real you guys like I don't care what anybody say like you can see things but that doesn't mean it's good it also doesn't mean it's bad I mean spirits are everywhere I may sound crazy or weird 
but I mean, it's part of life everywhere. People die, their spirits are left on earth. Hopefully nobody died in this area because that was freaky. But yeah, I encountered that multiple times. I encountered different ones. I don't know. I, I haven't seen any. I don't want to see any. Oh my gosh, that bird just scared the crap out of me. See you guys, I am freaked out because I'm talking about this job. Like it just flew on my porch and it has a worm in its mouth. Oh, okay. Probably won't be able to sleep tonight to be honest because I'm talking about this junk. But yeah, I mean, I know I'm not the only one that had this before. This junk happened before. It's just that I don't, I don't know. It just popped up in my mind. You remember when you used to see spirits when you was a little girl? Yeah. If you actually had like a similar problem like mine, let me know. Comment below. Tell me some of the weird things you like encountered. Tell me about some of the weird things that you encountered. Have you met a guardian angel? Like I believe I am. I encountered one of those too, just because I'd never seen the person ever again. And when people try to figure out if that person was real or not, nobody could actually find them anywhere like it was so crazy but yeah i mean if you encounter a guardian angel stuff like that you know let me know comment below i like to hear your stories too i hope that junk don't start happening again i'm gonna have to pray extra hard tonight because um anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this little short story time moment that i had about an encounter with something that you can't see if you guys want to hear more story times, let me know. I'm in below. Like this video. Definitely share with your friends, your families, your niece, your nephews, your uncles, your grandmas, your grandpas, everybody, the church. Just send it to anybody. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will have more story times, more videos almost every week. I plan on posting Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And the time frame that I'm hoping to post is around 6 o'clock p.m. So make sure you come around to my channel around that time. I should have a new video up for you guys. So yeah, definitely do that. And hope you all have a nice Friday.